Which Big Ten teams have the longest active win streaks? Let's stop stalling and start talking wrestling. What's going on, Fanka Wrestling fans, and welcome to Big Ten Tuesday, where I take on a new topic in the Big Ten Wrestling every single week. If you have a topic that you'd like to be discussed in a future video, please leave a comment down below. Now, let's get into the longest active dual meet win streaks in the entire Big Ten. Which are the teams? I will be getting into the top four, plus some honorable mentions right now. Now, as far as the honorable mentions, uh, the first honorable mention that you have to talk about uh, are Illinois, Michigan, and Purdue. Do. And each of these teams has one win. So this is actually, yes, this is an honorable mention. It's not the longest wins, but it is, they have one win. A lot of these other teams, which I'll get to at the end of the video, I'll show you every single win streak, um, but they have one win. Now let's get into the actual win streaks. And starting off, we have to talk about Northwestern. Now Northwestern right now has two wins in a row, two straight wins. Their last loss coming to Rutgers uh, back in February on February 14th. Unfortunately, this was Valentine's Day. No love shown to Northwestern on this day from Rutgers. Now, throughout this time, they've had a point differential in each of their matches. Uh, in this win streak, 75 points to 18. Now, this is just over two duels, so it's, you know, not crazy big, but it's just, you know, it's it's it, it'll lead into exactly what I'm talking about with, with these top three teams. Now, their best streak during their win was over Maryland, which was a 37 to 9 victory. That's not saying a whole lot, but it still is their best win uh, coming from the Big Ten. And their biggest margin of victory is coming over SIU Edwardsville, which was a 38 to 9 victory. So, that's the number four team let's get on now I, I know you're looking forward to these top three now the top three team the number three team which is actually number eight overall uh in the entire ncaa is penn state penn state has five straight dual meet victories of course their last loss coming to iowa which was a 19 to 17 dual meet uh loss on january 31st of 2020 now, like I said, they are number eight overall, number three in the Big Ten, uh, and you know it was unfortunate because this past season they were on a 60-match dual meet winning streak. They won 60 in a row until they finally lost to Arizona State. Now that was probably going to come to from Arizona State or Iowa. The Arizona State one just kind of threw blue people's minds, but that it came to Iowa was you know it still would have been incredible if they kept that alive and kept that going. Now, throughout this time, their best streak during their win, their best win during the streak uh, was over Ohio State, which was a 20-16 to victory, and their biggest margin was 37 points over American and Maryland. Uh, both They beat them both by 37 points each. Now, talking about the number two team, uh, and you may be surprised that Penn State's not at number two, but it, this is because uh, this team, their last loss was just came a week before Penn State, and that team, of course, is Nebraska. Now, Nebraska really popped onto the scene this year. Uh, six straight dual meet wins, number seven overall in the entire NCAA behind Lehigh, who has 11 straight wins, Campbell with nine, Hofstra with eight, and Princeton with seven. So, Nebraska comes in with six straight dual meet victories uh, in an 11 and 3 2020 record. Six and three overall in Big Ten duels. A lot of their uh, losses coming pre-January or you know towards the beginning of the season, uh, towards the beginning of the dual meet season. Now their last loss during that time uh, was like I said, middle of January. They lost to Penn State. They lost twenty to eighteen, and what was a exciting duel to say the least. Uh, throughout that time, throughout their dual meet time, they've had a point differential, one hundred sixty four points to sixty. Their opponents sixty eight points, which is darn impressive. And their best win throughout this streak was also over Ohio State just like Penn State they beat them 19 to 14 uh, which is a darn impressive victory Nebraska really popped onto the scene and they'll be bringing back a lot of their guys next year uh, as far as Chad Red looking at Mikey Labriola uh, looking at Riz Lovett I mean some impressive guys are bringing back next year but the team that's bringing back the most guys bringing back nine of their starters bringing back nine of their starters is of course Iowa. Iowa has the longest win streak uh, in the entire Big Ten. 
They are number two overall behind this one team, which I'll get to in just a minute. Now, number one in the Big Ten, uh, they had a 13-0 record on the season, 9-0 in Big Ten dual meet victories. Their last loss was coming in the 2019 season, which was the uh, oldest loss compared to the rest of these teams. In 2019, they lost to Oklahoma State 27-12. to And since that time, they've really come back and, I mean, they put a revenge tour on, beating not only Oklahoma State, avenging that loss, but beating Penn State, beating Michigan, uh, beating so many of these other Big Ten schools. What an impressive victory they've had. I would say their most impressive victory was over Penn State, beating them 19-17. to And throughout that time, they've scored 409 points on their opponents uh, to their opponents 75. Now, the team, uh, in looking at first at all of these Big Ten records uh, this past season, and you see negative, that just means uh, they've lost their last match. So, you know, Indiana's lost their last match of the season. Michigan State lost their last match match. Uh, Minnesota lost their last three, so and so on and so forth. Uh, so those are the Big Ten schools. But as far as which team is number one in the entire NCAA, that's actually NC State, who has 17 straight victories and is looking to keep that streak alive next year. Now, if you're looking at which individuals have the longest win streaks in the Big Ten, you may want to check out this video. The answers may surprise you, so watch that right here. 